The wheel is often cited as the hallmark of man's innovation, as the invention of the wheel has proved to be one of the biggest blessings for humanity. It is used in almost all modes of modern transportation, from basic carts, cycles, and motorcycles, to cars, trucks, trams, trains, and planes. Its importance is clear, but have you ever wondered how this hallmark innovation came into existence? When you carefully peruse the history of mankind, you'll notice that most inventions were actually inspired by the natural world. One of the reasons it took a long time for man to invent the wheel, however, is because there were no organic examples of the wheel in nature, though dung beetle behavior does come close. Wheels ease the job of carrying heavy loads across long distances, but before the invention of the wheel, man himself used to carry those heavy loads. Later, he began taming animals, like oxen, horses, donkeys, and camels, and used them for carrying the loads. Gradually, men started carrying loads by dragging wooden planks with the help of animals. After a long time, around 3500 BC, an idea struck someone residing in Mesopotamia. He cut a disc from the trunk of a tree and made a hole in its center. The end product was the wheel, arguably the greatest invention in human history. The wheel he invented was not used for transportation, however, but for pottery. After a brief stint of using the wheel for pottery, someone used two wheels to form a cart. He made this from the trunk of a tree, which was joined by an axle fastened to a platform of wood. In this crude cart, both the wheels and axle moved. The next improvement was fastening the axle to the vehicle and letting the wheels spin freely. The first wheeled vehicles were bullock carts, war chariots, and four-wheeled carts of the gods. For centuries, scientists, mathematicians, tinkerers, and even philosophers have tried to master perpetual motion. The goal is a device that, once set in motion, will continue in motion perennially, producing more energy than it consumes. One of the most obvious elements in the design of such a machine is a wheel. A water mill wheel is an example of such a machine that uses changes in weights to incessantly rotate. However, no matter what the design philosophy was, all such perpetual motion machines violate the first and second laws of thermodynamics, which state that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, and that some portion of energy is lost when converting heat to work. With the passage of time, numerous improvements have been made to the design of wheels. Today, the rims and spokes of wheels are typically made of iron. Rubber tires and tubes are then put around them. Due to these improvements, the wheel has become lighter, more efficient, and longer lasting. It is no exaggeration to say that, with the help of the wheel, the world continues progressing faster than ever.